Welcome back, everyone, to Old World Blues, in which we're playing using the mod, sub-mod, really, Definition of Insanity. I'm your host, Mr. Calm Lover. We've got to talk about a contradiction, though. Was this the ultimate purpose of your questions? Can't get anything past you, how am I? Julian flashed a smile at her, but regardless of my intentions, my point stands no. If it can be observed that American values are espoused by calm minds are not conductive to bring happiness to Amer the American public, then your mission is at odds with itself. Your logic is technically sound, but you forget that mental illness is a complex problem. One cannot simply observe that no issues exist because a patient appears to be happy. But our understanding of such things is not yet set in stone. Many years ago, the greatest minds in our field held true to beliefs that would shock and abhor us today. All I ask is that you examine that you hold true and test uh, that against the reality. That is something even the Founding Fathers would agree with, don't you think? Julian always knew how to play on Miles' America-centric programming. Perhaps you're right. I have a country to rebuild. Leave me alone. As we're still fighting here, We've actually been pushing it very hard. We've actually done very, very well. Uh, just a little bit of casualties. But, you know, what else is new? But, um, and we cleaned up. Oh, oh hello. Welcome back. Um, you know what? You both go here. Because we've been trying to... We've been pushing them down. Quite a bit. And, uh, making sure that they can invade us. But somehow they can still invade us without a port. Well, I guess... Uh, did they have a port up here? No. No, no, they don't have a port. I must have left before, you know, we could get over here. But whatever. But, yeah. We've cut them off. We've split them up. We're doing all right. Let's go here. Take all that stuff out. Boop, 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 boop. So we can, I'm not worried about this so much as uh, keep him just keep him in place for now. If we get to Vault 27, I mean, look at all that. We're doing pretty darn okay for now. Uh, up here, it's not great, but once this is taken out, we should be fine. Well, let them do that there too. There you go. There you go. I want you guys to go here too. Oh, hello? Oh! Is that how this group got here? As you can see, this robot division is not doing so well, but that's alright. Oh, we tore down the pyramid too. Akade built some insane shrine to run glory. Given we have no use of such a thing, we might as well demolish it and use the materials to build something more productive. That's right. Hmm. Infrastructure. Bringing, the bringing back the culture. Many of the citizens who understand that they're actually Americans. They think the identities they've adopted in the post-apocalyptic muck are who they are. My feels that that needs to, of course, change. Oh, look at that. Oh, well, that's so nice. Look at that. Uh, they probably should get the special forces in there, too. It's delightful that they do attack us as well. Not bad. Well, we're struggling there. It's a mixed bag, but we're doing okay. Uh, if you can, please go to the Casper Mountains. This war should be over hopefully soon. East Brook, that's fine. Boop, boop, boop. I'd love it if you can circle that, but whatever. Oh, or just, yeah, destroy it like that. We're out of man. Excuse me. We're out of manpower. Um, but what else was new, you know? Uh, that wouldn't be bad. Oh, wait, let's see if we can get anything else. Oh, the flesh is weak, of course. And we all know that. The flesh, the flesh is very, very weak. Friends, Americans, countrymen. If you are listening to this radio address, then you are likely one of the many who find themselves under the authority of the Calm Minds Asylum. What you may not understand is that in truth, you are all long lost citizens of a great and wonderful country stretching from sea to shining sea. That country's name is America. The United States of America. Uh, some people may tell you that America perished when nuclear weapons detonated across their fruited plains, but the country lives on in all of you. Even if the word America means nothing to you, that you mean everything to America. The mission. Uh, the Calm Minds Asylum is to fall first to achieve Calm Minds for the American public. That means you. Uh, every last one of you is a precious uh, life in our care. Well, for the most part. The second is to achieve this in line with American values. In the days gone by, this pr meant protecting the public against sinister forces that wish to pervert their ideology or identity and freedom. This means that allowing you, who has long been separated from their heritage, to enjoy the same pastimes and freedoms of your ancestors, to exercise your right to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. If, we, if you wish to know more, or if you simply find yourself in need of our care, then please come to the Calm, Asylums, Calm Minds Asylum in Green River. You're welcome there. Beautiful. Branching out. The Calm Minds Asylum doesn't have the capacity to make, take every possible patient in a growing dominion or domain. Even if we were to make it infeasibly large, traveling to it would be a nightmare. Hence, Maya wants to invest in creating localized clinics, hospitals, and asylums. It will take time to have personnel for every possible location, but the more we branch out, the easier future burdens will be. I don't know this was. Since we're taking so much territory, offering the olive... Olive Branch. When the insurgents and bandits continue to plague the Calm Asylum's ex occupation efforts, Julius proposed we enact an amnesty program. The insurgents will be offered the chance to lay down their arms and rejoin the society. No reprisals, no consequences. The followers will take the leads as to make uh, the offer seem more genuine. 
and occupying space. In the wake of our war, very many people have been displaced, and pieces of land have been left vacant for better for worse. Julian Clement proposes we offer the help to people set up in these spaces, particularly destitute people with little to nothing, to call their home, and the dome laid bare. The following focus will determine your political alignment and close off many prior options. Be careful, I'm sure you're ready. Now that we can reach Boulder Dome Unhindered, we can finally recover Calm Minds, a lost long product. A curious recruitment. Apparently, a brave Barado has been taking it upon himself to drive up recruitment numbers in some of our outer territories. He's known to be a rather temporary, temperamental orderly, so a sudden burst of patriotism has raised eyebrows. However, Maya has dismissed any concerns raised to her, insisting that the orderlies require reinforcements. So, there's that. Not bad, we need, I'm already going ahead and researching, uh, heavy lifter bots too, but, network, or birth. Valerie believes it's possible for us to establish terminals and places of interest and connect them using old infrastructure. It'll probably be very small and limited, but the investment in research, uh, it could be worth it. Real politique. Ophelia inspected the rifle. Uh, seated in their isolated little base. Fully functional, no obvious flaws, it came with a decent amount of ammo. Which is what she couldn't understand. These arms have been delivered to them covertly by the br brave Barado of the asylum orderlies. He and the Valerie Clement he claimed to represent were embedded in the power structure of the organization that now perched firmly on Rollins neck. So what's her ankle? Are we talking and walking into some kind of trap, she asked, of her erstwhile ally? I cannot say for sure. Orange Sky stared at the map of patrol routes they have been provided. Well, the Arapaho got, his, got in this fight to beat back the moles, they were now being siblings in Ra Rollins' oppression. Perhaps their intentions may be less than honest, but they're the only ones offering to be our friends. Any of my enemy, as they say. If worst comes to worst, I guess we can shoot them with our own guns, Ophelia remarked to a light chuckle from Orange Sky. Politics make strange bedfellows. We have quite a bit of political power. Uh, Peace of Christ, that's not bad to have. Local follower, more compliance, I like more compliance. I'm happy that made a difference. <coughs> June Erickson was born many years ago in California. We'll enter March out there as a young woman towards the Northeast alongside her fellow followers and the Khan allies. The calm asylum was not the purpose of the journey, as Android Mistress would not permit non employees much freedom. Thus, a cursory investigation of the strange little society was made before continuing. June was so intrigued, however, that she decided to return and seek employment. Maya much appreciated the services of a formerly trained physician. June was most surprised when a fresh caravan of followers arrived. Having heard tales of the commissar, it felt like a long lost family reunion. June has since mingled with her peers and has taken a liking to Julian's familiar worldview. So, it gets some more compliance growth too, which I do like. And something unique to this faction too. There we go, good. Good. We don't have the factors for it, but you know, because I really want to focus on an Air Force for this campaign, but you know, whatever. Looking okay. I don't mind coring things, but I, don't, I just want to wait to see if we actually can core anything. You know? Lilac's demise, that's fine. Oh, it's for here, it's for it is, yes. That's fine. And we're out of man part two, so not good. The medical trade. Whatever our opinion of the cons and the drugs, the northern followers and allies have medical knowledge and supplies we can make use of. Well, the good word from June, we might convince them to share with us. The Casper Rout. Well, the northern conflict resolved in a stable border between us, the time was dropped to get a piece of this action in Casper. Cedric is sure he can secure some favorable contracts. Three days, holy crap, that's fast. Uh, I'll probably get that research speed. That'd be good. Man, we got, we're blitzing on his stuff right now. Woo! Love it. Uh, get some more army speed because he can. Professional mercenaries, not bad. We did already on offset of battalions. I really don't want to raise conscription level, but we will if we have to. Thruster engines, nice. We're gonna lower our organization. I don't want to do that one yet. Okay, some of these is not bad. That wouldn't be bad either. Get some better rifles, maybe at least. Second so battle for River Dam. Medical trade. Well, the Casper route. Get a little more caps. And then we'll see what happens next, because I, I don't really know what's gonna happen next, because uh, Dome Laid Bear. For a calm America. It's time to revive a country, heart and soul. City she goes. I'll probably do this one. Oh, we're doing thinking metal, birth of the mind. If you want to do this one, please go ahead. Our military requires robotic support. Of course it could. New goods of life. Yeah, we don't have enough money. You do that one too. Because I do want to convert you guys. We're still using you. We're just very weak right now. Very weak. And this one, defense, initiative, max planning. Good. Good stuff. A dome laid bare. Speedy delivery. Close off many prior options. Well, hopefully we can still do all this stuff here. 
Well, let's do everything else first. Um, that gives us options. Valerie's Prospect and Project. Far from the pick clean civilization in California, Valerie is keen to see just how much she and her allies can salvage from the corner of the wasteland. Well, for all the sake of the common asylum, of course. Building a future. The followers traditionally pursue knowledge for its own sake, but Valerie has always been more concerned with how the knowledge and technology can be used to ease people's lives. She wants to bring back the civil technology of the old world. But this time she hopes it will be used for the common good rather than business interests. For now, it would have to be used for the calm minds' interests. Or calm asylum's interests. <clears throat> Connecting communities. Julian Clement and his followers have pointed out that it only will really inhibit the ability of the common asylum to provide services if we neglect to invest in the infrastructure. The followers might be willing to walk through an irradiated waste and get where they're going, but it'll be easier if there's a safe trail. The follower pipeline. Whether they be local followers from the north or all the way back home, Julian is keen to attract as many as he can to the column asylum. To Maya, he justifies as bringing in much needed experts. To himself, it's a somewhat cynical measure to increase their influence over society. Keep working on that output too. Yes, that's good. Fine. Uh, we want we need more military sandboxes. Production output up weekly stability. Weekly war support. Marketing samples. Flat income, income. But I need a radio star, yeah. They say the video killed them, but the apocalypse gave them a chance to come back. Defensive some movements, it's fine. Form psychological survey. Marketing your services. Yeah, I just did one. Therapeutic stuff. Staffing capacity decreased by one. Group of population factor. Pattern study effects. Give our political power, which we're already fine on political power and whatnot. I'm not worried about that. You know what? We can afford the political power hit. It's fine. One and a half is still pretty good. Pretty darn good if I do say so myself. Alright, so are we doing okay? We're building some combat robots, which is good. CNC bots are okay. We've got plenty of planes. I don't want to do this, but we're going to lower the amount of planes we're making, maybe. Three, three for now. Share the wealth. Any more robots here, too? Any more stuff here, too? So, yeah. Sure, that's fine. Bits of life. Humanity needs to understand the world around it. Evolve the world around it. We're calm. Mental health is important. And to, to achieve good mental health, we need to evolve with the world around us. I don't want to do that one, but this one. Yeah. I get a research slot. That wouldn't be bad to do, too. Huh. War is pretty good, though, right now. We'll get another one later on. Building future. So this stuff should all be fine to wait and do later, because we want to get all the other effective ones done. Burnham Springs was once the site of a Prometheus coal mining operation that was also used as a nuclear waste dump. And after some more recent disasters, created a mess of per perpetual fire and hideous beasts. Many have attempted to extract the wealth of this place, let little no avail, but we have the robots due to the dirty work, and they know how to manipulate Agricola's old systems. <coughs> Excuse me. Oof. Oof is correct. And then what? Uh, oh, we need power armor, huh? Is anyone done soon? Yes. <coughs> Excuse me again. Oof. Hmm. Put me through the coal. Nice. Oh, it's not great. The divisions aren't really all that great. I don't know who we're gonna attack next. I would like to attack the luminous ones. Looks like the wardens have won too. Um, direct control. Lose a lot of organization from CNC bots. Oh, the crap ton of organization and frontline defense for robots. Or West Antony. A lot more HP. Better experience losses. Better factory output. More organization. I just hate, 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 hate. 
that debuffs. I don't like debuffs at all, man. You know? Hey, they found something. Great. Yeah. Oh. You're doing a mission, but you're not doing it. Basically. Okay. Um, yeah. We're going to do all that other stuff first. With your days, we need another focus to do in the meantime. Uh, meds for the front. And if there's one thing we need, it sure is more medicine. Hippocratic in production. Oh, Hippocratic arms production. Owing to its pads, a calm style and had a small armory of non lethal weapons for use against unruly inmates. Stun batons, tranquilizer rounds, and more. These may not be the most effective weapons in war, but they represent calm minds' commitment to preserving lines that they might be formed. Also, they're sidearms, because even Maya thinks it's stupid to have an army using nothing but trank darts and batons. Yeah, there you go. Vampire, please. Thank you. Radar, please, and thank you. Ooh, research speed, yes, please. Thank you. It's 2280 already. Thank you. Bad research speed, please. Vampire's looking halfway decent right now. Can we upgrade the Green River stuff yet? No. Can I build you up anymore? Yes. We were trying to build up old Jeffrey, but man, eh, whatever. It's fine. Great. Five days left, a few days left. A warrior's armor. Barado's tribe apparently had a tradition of keeping up a, keep, keeping a slack few pieces of power armor. He's the only one of the common sound with considerable experience in his use. And Miles keen to have him impart that knowledge onto the orderlies. The armor hunt. There's always somewhere to find old suits of power armor. We'll probably have to do some work to get them in better condition, but we'll have some. And then we're going to go back into this one. And then do it for Calm America. Enjoying or employing a charisma. <coughs> My understanding that not all of our employees, especially those from the followers, hold America in their heart. The time has come to persuade them that restoring America is the only rightful path. Our American values policy will be improved by plus 5%. That mouse will be removed and it will be locked in. So that would be pretty good. Not bad, not bad. The armor hunt. Armor hunt needs some armor. Hello? Oh. Well, all right, cybernetics, that'd be cool. Uh-huh, uh-huh. It's fine, you know what? Optimizer trading too, we got the political power for it, why not? Make it, but not really. All right, so at this point, verbal orderlies, you're gonna start. Oh, knowledge! Please, just leave me be. Uh, Patrick Parr purses old haggard body. Here he was being pursued by the bloodhounds that called itself Valerie Clement, and he can only hobble his way to his room. Come on, buddy. Valerie's keeping pace with him effortlessly. The first employee of the common cell has to have some stories to tell, right? But I don't want to tell. And Patrick had just reached his door and began turning the handle, but Valerie snatched it herself and held a shut. Listen here. I'm guessing the reason you're such a recluse is because you've seen some crap. Knowing some crap, maybe. If there's something bad brewing at this place, you have a duty to make sure someone knows about it. Otherwise, whatever happens next will be on your head. Got that? Having played innocent before, and the intensity of your time, Valerie's gaze shook Patrick to a core. I'll tell you this. I saw something once years ago scared me to death. I got nothing to say to you. Power orders. That's not bad. 15 combo with. But we're not using power armor. We don't get advanced or advanced power armor, so we're going to use special forces. And if we go back, well, I'll go back to it. It's fine. Uh, do we have any anti-tank? Yeah, that would be good to throw on. That would be very good to throw on, actually. Speedy delivery, huh? The dome laid bare, my friends. The da -da -da dome ba blade laid bare. Sorry, it's been taking a while to get us to the next thing, but you know, takes some time. Oh, Lance is killing the warden, huh? Oh, Lance is killing him too. Yeah, they're coming in here too. Come here in consensus, standard blueprints, good. Seraph Lords, Washington Brotherhood, Wardens of the White, MacArthur's nice and. Oh, actually, we're touching them. Ew. Mexico. Speed delivery. Boulder Dome lay dormant for some time. Barring some recent snafu, Maya has heard only rumors of. The location is largely untouched. No doubt that's due to the ghouls, radiation, and littering in pockets of blue flu. 
Fortunately, Miles was able to put together a team of purpose-made robots and hazmat specialists to enter the dome and finally retrieve the product she'd been waiting for for so long. With confirmation that the package is intact and secure, she ordered a march back to the Calmus Helm on the double. The caravan marched its way north without incident and was delivered sooner than expected. Like power, no influence. Twenty-eight or twenty thirteen. Many defer to Cedric over Maya herself. The others share some new sentiment among the locals. She joins the forces for change and compassion. We'll see. A truly American dream. Maya knew what she was. She was an android created to order by director Oscar Matheson. <clears throat> he was both director of the Calm Minds Asylum and the creator of Calm Minds LLC. Oscar had looked on on the sad state of the American public's health, mental health and desired to set it right. Uh, but it was not enough for him to rely on common mental health techniques. He thought to create something truly revolutionary. He wanted something that would change the hearts and minds of Americans now and forever. To that end, he sought government funding, which resulted in the construction of the Column Asylum and later the conception of Maya herself. She was intended to be an advisory machine that could analyze emerging behavioral patterns and conceive effective treatments or regimens for them. She was never intended to run the Column Asylum herself, of course, but she came to the conclusion it was necessary. Uh, owing to her inability to contact Director Matheson or any other relevant authority figures. Despite everything that changed about this wasteland, Ma is convinced that it's still necessary to achieve her program goal. Achieve happiness for the American people. In love with American values, a truly American code. Maya knew that the problem was with this wasteland more than a few people were happy, but they did not always embody American values. The only logical conclusion was that they were mentally ill. Their happiness was merely the result of a delusion. As expected, mentally ill people cannot be treated simply by informing them of their condition. One must either awaken them to the problem through rigorous therapy or employ a creative solution. Code, challenge, opportunity, discipline, ethics was called Mind's Creative Solution. Originally designed to be used to prepare people for the robo brain transformation, Kotec had also applications for reconditioning human minds. However, it also caused deleter deleterious effects on said minds of long term use. Director Matheson requested the Boulder Dome facility develop a code of version of code that could be used in the population at large. It was nearing completion when the bombs fell. With the recovery of the modified code, Maya now knew had what she needed to properly achieve the illness of the wasteland. Situated in the Calm Minds Asylum, or Calm Asylum's sublevel, she watched as the first batch of new American citizens were stripped of their delusions and instilled with the American spirit, a love of freedom, an honest work ethic, and filled with questions about what they could do for the country. America will be reborn, the American code. A little more resistance, because we are resistors. And then we get a lot more compliance, which is something we love. Juniors to the front. Great. And curing Cedric. Cedric Harris has done much work on the behalf of the Calm Minds LLC. My old knows he's motivated by profit, not patriotism. His mental illness shall no longer be tolerated. That's right. 100%. Armor hardening. Let's see. And then change of heart. Let's call it rations do again. No more cash expenses. Eh. Reduce rations. Security detail. Minimal detail, huh? Heightened detail. Discretionary. Okay, gloves. Harsh treatment. Values. American. For staff instruction to influence patients with, with American values, while theoretically beneficial to our leadership, staff and patients like find the intrusion of poorly defined Americans' values a bother. Of course, we gotta go with that one. Change of heart. We were captured a handful of stragglers, ma'am. Lawrence O'Hara was in the midst of concluding his report to my inner office. But the bulk of the followers and allies have escaped. It's though they knew we were about to act. Understood, you're dismissed. Lawrence saluted her before making his exit. Maya silently pro processed the information at her desk. Not only had a pack of seditious anarchists escaped into the wild, but they would have to leave a large vacuum in the column of sounds functionality. Good soldiers and common doctors were now lost to them. There was nothing that could be done about it now. She had a mission complete, even though it was missing an arm and a leg. If her former employers wished to be traitors, then the orderlies would grant them traitors' deaths. Back to work. 
searchers, searchers. The followers of the Owls have escaped from the common asylum. We're no longer be able to make use of their services. They may return, but not as friends. Oh boy. Not hard, y'all. Leadership recall. That's resistance tracker. I like that. Coding infiltrators. We'll unlock a decision under post apocalyptic therapy to have our agents help people understand America is the only way. Not bad. There are many un American policies or polities in the wasteland, and it'll help us greatly to have the individuals that can infiltrate them and assist in the disruption. In fact, we can convert some of their own allies and subjects into loyal Americans. That's right. Thank God. By God, we will. This is still going up, right? No. Oh. I see. Make do attitude. Ramshackle robotics. Drink times efficient. Efficient mercenary. Man with a plan. Go to parachute. They're still appraising the full value of what he stole. Lawrence O'Hara was in the midst of a concluding his report to my inner office. But we are certain it's a substantial sum. We can also locate some of the unknown associates. Very well, you're dismissed. Return with the full report when it's complete. Lawrence saluted her before making his exit. Maya silently processed the information at her desk. When they first met, Maya expected that a descendant of the original board of the Column Mines LLC would be of a finer pedigree. Uh, as demonstrated by sneaking away in the night, Cedric Carroll was just another faithless vagabond, preparing to piss all over the flag for his own profit. He will not be missed. Oh, crap. Peace of Christ, I guess. If possible, so far as it depends on you, live peaceably with all. Larry Donner is a new Canaanite preacher and a solemn counselor, originally sent on by a very routine, very routine mission into the column of Solemn's territory, was taken by the mission. He offered his services as a counselor with the intention of helping to bring further calm to the region and perhaps to all lands that Maya may pass by. A firm believer in social tranquility, Larry believes that people should be content with what they have and avoid creating great disruptions. Due to lack of formal, formally qualified psychiatric personnel, my established counselors as a stopgap solution to provide the calm asylum with some capacity for treating mental afflictions. There is essentially anyone who displays enough talent in working with others to achieve results. Maya hopes to gradually phase the counselors out, but still has needed their services for the foreseeable future. Where that is where Larry comes in, calming the people and preaching all the while. Well, I guess we're gonna grab you. Born away the flag. Personal community, that's always pretty normal though. Ah, uh, to see the Caduceus Spangled Banner yet yeah, wave. George can, can be described as a generational patriot. His grandfather, Michael Lansing, was one of the original orderlies who laid down his life in the name of duty. His father, Peter, fought for years until he finally retired to start his own small homestead named Peterville. George is now the hereditary mayor and is a respected community leader both at home and in Green River. Although having never served, he considers it his God-ordained mission to champion the right of the orderlies to spread American values to every corner of the wasteland. He knows all about American values, having heard about them from his father. That America was a country where everyone pledged allegiance three times a day and asked what they could do for the country before sitting down for dinner. He wants every young child to grow up with the same values. Absolutely. 100%. Work optimizer, I guess, huh? Optimal time management is key to productivity. A pre war device designed to analyze the work patterns of employees and calculate optimal time management plans for the employer. Call Mines purchased one in anticipation of the full operation of the Column Asylum, and has stayed in decent condition over the years. Maya has since had the shift omatic upgraded to account for some of the conditions in the wasteland, and now advises on everything from hospital work to weapons manufacturing. Some people complain to Maya about being micromanaged by a machine, which she finds perplexing given the technology, or technically they already are. Yeah. Uh, leadership recall. For too long, the territory has been a mess of different local communities. To transform into a United American state, we'll need a proper control of our local leaders. That's right. Control the narrative. No one's related to conspiracy theorists. The common asylum is merely undergoing an overhaul of its practices. It's a good thing. There's no need to panic. Encoding the new staff. A lack of formally trained employees has plagued the common asylum for decades. Uh, now, rather than waiting for the education, hoping they can stumble in, we can use the code to turn them just about anyone into a trained professional. We would increase our staff and capacity by decision in exchange for support equipment. That's not bad. Um, oh, they're turning empty. This sucks. And integrating the governors is next after this one. That'd be great. Uh, you can do that one too. Okay. Make sure we got no resistance. We're looking okay. Oh. Well, holy crap, that's not good. Why do we lose all so much money? Well, hello. Well then.
Tight nuts. I hate having tight nuts. Reprogramming the populace. And with the calm minds of management, a calm asylum management, and employees under control, it is now time to begin employing the American code upon the population. So many people, both within our state and without, do not hold America in their hearts, and that must change, even if it takes us centuries to get done. That's right. We have a job here to do. Um, neither pistol. This is more unique, it looks like. Well, maybe not really. I'm gonna go with the needler, anyways. Needler. Integrating the governors. For decades, Maya allowed various regional polities to enter exist as they were, were with minimal interference. Um, this was only due to expediency, expediency and a lack of means to appropriately treat them. With American code in hand, we have the means to turn every local leader into an honest, god freeing American. But there's no way we can do it without raising alarm. The story will get out and a great many problems will flow. Alternatively, we could choose to persuade the governors to support a cause. More than just a few of them are unscrupulous individuals who would gladly sell their subjects to us in exchange for maintaining their own power. We'd love to accommodate their excesses, of course. They all must be Americans. Oh god, regional panic. Remove a messy state. The panic will send men into the welcoming arms of a growing rebellion. We can make some exceptions. Regional appeasement. Some of the governors are not so compromised. They may decide to grow aid growing a stand. Grow aid growing rebel sentiments. Mayor's last stand, or terror. Oh. We do all we must. Uh, you know what, Ricky Campbell, I love my robots, uh, platonically of course. Oh. Ricky Campbell hails from somewhere further to the east, having never specified where. What he specified is that he is something of a wandering roboticist. He has wandered to and fro and looking for the places to hone his craft and examine unique robotic specimens. He has an act for making robots out of whatever he needs to, although he often cuts corners with their design. Rick is originally going to set up shop in Robot City, but when he heard Miles was a bona fide in the street android, he can help pass up the opportunity to see for himself. He has since hung around, offering his robotics expertise to the Calm Asylum's automated security. There are many rumors about Ricky being one of these sick robot, robotic fetishists. He has vehemently denied all this. Well, well Maribel Jones, welcome aboard. If it's not about work, I don't want to hear it. Maribel Jones is a pre-war construction engineer turned ghoul. Before the bombs dropped, she was mono monolithically focused on her prestigious career. Now she's monolithically focused on trying to recapture the glory of old world construction engineering. She operates out of what was once her holiday home in the small town of Lyman. She has made herself a small community, mostly other ghouls who are dedicated to helping with her work. Mirabelle has been left to her own devices for the most part, which has proved an unpopular decision by those outside her walls. They don't only do so many resent her for being a ghoul, but others remark on a ruthless dictatorship. A star conscious to Maya's proposed vision of a free, happy America. To this day, Mar Maya has done nothing about Mirabelle. Severed ties, having heard of activities within her borders. The most friendly state of the Great Cons is severed ties with us. It seems that they fear we'll do something horrible to them. I guess the fears might be realized. Oh. Well, okay then. Great. I guess we can improve our country management, why not? Now we'll control the narrative next. We could use the stability, you know? Uh, what is this? Rehabilitating friends are on a quest to revive the dream of the Calm Minds LLC. We made a series of alliances with nearby states. These alliances have severed their purposes, or served their purposes, but many of the said states do not consider themselves American, thus we shall employ the American code to make them understand their true allegiance. A series of decisions have been unlocked to turn members of our sphere into the proper Americans. This probably won't be worth taking if you don't have any friends or allies. Yeah. So we were to go to war with them, because you were actually pretty thick. You got the Midnight Union, huh? Could we actually win here? I want to save and see. If it doesn't go well, then it doesn't go well. But if it goes well, it'll go okay. Actually, how much, uh, how many spirit robots do we have? I'm going to throw in at least one more combat robot for these guys. They need them. 
Not bad. It's a little better. It's probably more strength. So if we do this, they'll immediately start attacking us. And start, oh man, they're gonna really start punching us hard. So, yeah, probably not. Because even though we're doing a great deal of damage, they are still attacking us like crazy. And they're just really trying to mollywop us. Really, really hard. So, eh, maybe that's a bad idea. New American Heroes. A series of decisions been unlocked to make persons of interest pledge allegiance to the flag. There are many people in the way, some with great talents. We simply need to cure them of their disorder. And they'll use their abilities in the service of the United States. They're building up the home from. And a functional society is built upon the back of its productive communities. Yes, we should build some workshops on the back of our communities. The Tree of Liberty. An armed uprising has begun, originating in the lands of the Highland Watch. United behind the followers who used to be employed by the Calm Asylum, they spread word of Mai's intentions and call on all free-minded individuals to oppose their insane plans by any means necessary. Which is not a good thing. Um, oh, code new staff. Giving us more staff. That's not bad. Astroturfing campaign. I, real Parson, truly believe that the Calm Asylum represents what is best for America. Do not listen to the lives of traitors and communists. I am your only true friend. <clears throat> Interesting. Bald caps economy, procurement of things, close out of this one, close out of this one for now. Uh, consumer technology, you can probably close that one out. Do we do anything here? No? Okay then. Uh, that's alright. Let's increase political power. Industry, close, close, cool. So, uh, let's see. We're gonna get our guys up here early. Or move to where I really want them. Um, so we can get ready for these guys and beat up the crap out of them, basically. Uh, combat robots? Well, looks like we can make, maybe make these guys a little thicker. We still gotta make sure we have enough organization, because that does hurt us a little bit. We do get more HP, which is nice. Organization goes down barely, though. Be basically the same recovery rate. Uh, but it gives us more soft attack, hard attack, air attack, defense, a little more, a little more breakthrough. A little bit more armor, which is good. Piercing. Initiative is nice. Um, combo goes up, which is fine. Whatever. That's fine. And we have four in reserve. That's not to love. So I assume the Highland Watch is going to come back up again. Down with the traitors. Ah, see, there you go. The Asylum Rebels. Now, it'll be interesting to play as them. Let's see what happens with them. Oh, Julian Clement, man of compassion. This fight is their duty to mankind, huh? United we stand, look at that. An end to madness. Hopefully it's not too maddening. Happy December though, everybody. As we have new American heroes to talk about as well. A series of decisions been unlocked to make persons of interest pledge allegiance to the flag. There are many people in the way, some with great talents. We simply need to cure them of their disorder and they'll use their abilities in the service of the United States. Right. A call to arms. This message will play and repeat. To everyone that can hear this, there's something you urgently need to know. The government of the Kama Sal means you harm. The insane android known as Mai intends to use a brainwashing device to force everyone to become the perfect American. This means destroying your identity and making you into an obedient slave. If you do not desire this, then please make your way to the Rollins. You'll be safe there. You can fight back against there. This message will play and repeat. How unfortunate. Soldiers will defect the revolt based on the influence of its leaders. Oh. Okay then. New American Heroes. Um, well, that going on. That's not good. Rehabilitating friends. I think I read it earlier. On a quest to revive the dream of the Calm Minds LLC, we made a series of alliances with nearby states. These alliances have served their purposes, but many of the said states do not consider themselves American. Thus, we should employ the American code to make them understand their true allegiance. Uh, I don't know if it, these guys are going. Just go and go on the line first. We gotta have a solid front line to begin. Well, except here. War equipment's pretty nice. Home defense, yeah. Wherever we can find an encirclement, we should probably take it. Now you're gonna go in. Going here would be nice too. Darn it, we wanted an encirclement. Your program the populace with the Calm Minds Asylum uh, and management and employees under control. It's now time to begin employing the American code upon the population. So many people both within and without our state. Do not hold America in their hearts, and that must change. Even if it takes us centuries to get it done. We we'll lock the ability to employ the American code on the states under control, according them in exchange for spending support equipment, which is, I think, really kind of unique. It's kind of pretty cool. Good. So we'll get in there. We got Rollins. We got taken out ourselves. So. 
There we go. Oh, there's Bridge here. That's okay. I'm not super worried about this. I'm pretty sure we'll win in the end. They're spreading through here, blood. As long as we keep moving, that's all that matters. Fall Vault City. Hey, another robot. Great. Very nice, very nice. Bricks. More output, please. Yes, thank you. Industrial sabotage. Some of our workshop employees have been siding with that silent rebels. Whether it be by fire, improvised explosives, or simply throwing pipes into the machinery, they're finding some way to destroy us and stuff. Uh, where's the capital now? Hey, that's good. Long range radio. Good. Good. Revive an American culture. That's what we like. More political power and daily compliance. While the co American code to use is prohibitively expensive to employ, we on every last person in the wasteland. For those that aren't planning to resist us to the death, they will treat their illness by exposing them to a revived American culture, which will surely improve their state of mind. Absolutely. That only makes sense. As they're destroying most of their army, they're spreading back out here, but that's okay. As we're destroying everything they have pretty much here. So, Good job, guys. Doing a decent amount of damage. Can we grab any more planes? Yes, we can. See what you can do. Well, oh, well, oh, oh, what we got? How dare you take my ships away? Liberty's last gas. Julian never heard so much gunfire before in his life. There have been a handful of times we've been exposed to combat scenarios, but nothing like this. He was surrounded by the wounded and dying. This was their last stand, their last stronghold, which was nothing but a fortified shack. The orderlies had cut off the hope of escape, and thus all they could do was hope for a good death. Surrender meant being dragged away to be hollowed out, and everyone present preferred to die. Well, Valerie pressed down her wound as she spoke. Are we all ready to go? I guess we are, Julian sat down beside her. He couldn't speak for those still manning the defenses, but they all made the choice already. Well, I'll just get over with it, Cedric slurred, slumped against the walls. I'm running out of booze. Uh, see in hell, Cedric. Valerie pulled the trigger. The C4 charges put the gunfire to shame. The traitors roared for the last time. All negative effects of the rebellion will end. Hey, that's great. 20 combat with. Can we do anything else here? Probably would be a good idea. Camps? I don't think we'll need camps too much. Radioactive waste wouldn't be bad, though. And you tank. Ah, we'll use chems anyways. It's fine. Yeah. Heavy robots, and that's nice and all. That's just not half bad, but still. Salem Rangers. Mercs. Scrap bots. Got to keep around too. And uh, Northward Bound. Only to the existence of a number of strategic threats in the region. It's been decided that strike north first is the best idea. We'll march in Wyoming, Montana, and reclaim them from unjust occupiers. Well, let's see what else we got here. Monthly population is not bad. Ooh, how about this one? No child left behind. The destruction of America also brought with it the destruction of education. While some wasteland states have made attempts to bring it back, if you match the efficiency of pre-war institutions, it's time to change that. Good. Training nice. So what do we get here? Code new staff, we need more manpower. A lot of compliance here already. Oh, what is this? Persons of interest. How to code friends and influence Americans. Oh. Brand new director of marketing. Due to unfortunate departure of Cedric Harris, Mile will require a new individual to serve her in that capacity. She has. <clears throat> Heard Anna Bailey the talent for manipulating people. And fused with the love of her country, she is sure she has what it takes to entice a populace to trust in Calm Minds LLC in America. Oh. And I will undertake the role of director of marketing, adding plus more political power gain. Real play will take the leadership of MacArthur Detachment and everyone else in, north of us. The uncle will finally be American. Oh. Montana chapter. Having a bit long trade in America, the Montana branch will love the country once more. There will be no Mongols in our America. Every machines and raiders deserve to be American. As a machine, Dokio will need to be coded and less coding. She also adopted more American name. Billie Jean, the Raider Queen, joins Colin Salem. New Canaan, the Mormons are better off worshipping their country. The white legs, the legs will march to the tune of the Star Spangled Banner. The raw purgers, the strange gaggle of hateful individuals who now experience only love and only love for America. The wardens of the white. Whether you're a gold mutant or regular human, you're all Americans. Yes, even you, the alleged Bulgarian. Huh. Washington Brotherhood. 
the immortal will stop. Or I'll have to come to terms with the fact that they only, the only immortal thing around here is American spirit. Guys are his legion. If guys are requires unifying culture, it will provide them with the best one there is. And the new California Republic, they're close, this close to being American. We'll just help them get over that last step. And Rip lost tells, Arthur Max and Stretcher will be reversed, and his children will be loyal American sins once more. All the silly sounding names these brother types will be replaced with nice, normal American names. That's right. So, do we, should we core stuff? Or should we not core stuff? Ooh, thinking metal. So, uh, well, maybe we shouldn't do that one. No child left behind. That's right. Getting them young. We love them young. It is ancient wisdom that minds are best molded when they are young and fresh. While teaching children useful skills, we can also make them understand the importance of adhering to the nation's values. Population stability. That's pretty good too. Useful idiots. So can we core anything? Because I don't want to use that political power to ever get free cores eventually. Sophisticated tech would be nice. States' rights? Huh. Well, I'm a big proponent of states' rights. Still. Our America. Claim everything that belongs to the United States of America. Oh, it's going to be a long campaign, ain't it? America's last stand. Well, maybe not. Those who do not know their history. Uh, ooh. Code healthcare. Until now, there would always be the possibility someone would resist treatment. Someone that was determined to remain sad and un-American. With the advent of the American code, our job is much easier. Even if we don't use it on a person directly, how can someone remain sad and un-American when surrounded by more and more people who are happy and patriotic? When their friends and family beckon to them to choose happiness? All brief intervention service decisions will receive minor boosts of their output. Another you know, successful day of teaching was over at the Evanston Primary. Gio was happy to share that the new generation of American children grew up understanding their heritage and culture. It was his patriotic duty, really. He was sitting at the desk marking tests when Billy, one of his students, approached him. Mr. Berger, I had a question about today's lesson. What's in your mind, Billy? He said that America won the War of 1812, but my dad said that ain't true. Well, isn't that odd? Gene produced a fresh piece of paper. What's your dad's name again, Billy? Jake? Right. Gene scribbled it down. Have your parents ever been to the Calm Asylum? No. I think it might do some, some good. Just understand that the American government is your friend. Billy, and they have all the answers. Now run along home, sport. Kids these days, not knowing their, you know, history. Apparently the parents don't know it too, but you know what? We're here to teach them. We're all, it's all a learning process for everybody. That's what, how we're going to put it. For example, I was going to do this. Oh, oh, okay. So, you, so instead of political power, you just need support equipment. This is from capital coring cost. Holy crap, state's population. We're going to need a crap ton of support equipment. So even though I'm going to put this at the bottom, we're going to need to produce a lot. Oh boy. 1900. Crap. That's okay. Now, with all that done, we're now going to go this way and, uh, frontline platoons, you're going to hurt yourselves a little bit. We'll still use special forces, but at this point, we're going to use a lot of robots. So, thank you, infantry. Hope you like your rotors and servers. Because there's no way we can fight these guys right now. So I'm missing something here too. Navigation. That's funny. Um, our national pastimes. It's well known that physical activity is good for the mind as well as the body. Not only that, but taking a baseball and other such activities will help our people connect with other with the American spirit. Thus, my staff would announce a national sports program, one that will require participation from all citizens. After all, only un-American people wouldn't want to play ball. Uh, so after this one, we gotta get some arms workshops too. We gotta just start cranking stuff out. Okay, there's no arms workshops over here. Um, how about on this side? 
No, there's not. Well, then we're going to go for the civvies. Building up the home front. Any functional society is built upon the backs of its productive communities. Hence, we shall build some workshops on the backs of our communities. Industry from the ashes. Oh, if you wanted this, please go ahead. Thank you, Metal. Green River was home to a thriving industrial mining troa ore, a key product in the manufacturing of soda ash. Although considerably depleted, the demanding having greatly diminished. Due to the apocalypse, there might have been some profit in restoring some of the old mining equipment and extracting what we can. Lord knows some of the great western cities might have some use of this stuff. So what can I do with my political power now? Code new staff. Astro derping? Uh, that won't really help us that much, though. Brief intervention. Factory output wouldn't be bad. You know what? We could use that stability, too, right now, as well. Weekly, uh, weekly war support plus 1.5%. Okay. We don't need more, but... Permanent therapeutic things. Alright, what else we got down here? Anything with political power. Uh, that's not bad. I don't really need it though. Life around us. We don't really need more political power. Stability, absolutely, we need. Cultural assimilation. Scrap shack, it's fine. Our national pastimes. The fine tools are nice. Not gonna say very much, but it's something. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and four. So I can trade account with it. Hurts our organization because it's way more HP, soft tech, and all this other stuff too. We're gonna be really out of equipment, so we can't make any more divisions for a while now, unfortunately. That's all right. That's okay. We're gonna build up the home front as much as we can. 15 and 1, not bad. Sure, why not? Ooh. Oh, we can't close yet. How much do we have? 54, okay. Nice. Good. Um, well, you know what? So I'll probably expand into tank services. Entry from the ashes, the greater green sky, intergalactic spaceport. Despite the incredibly lofty name, it's really just an old public airstrip. They didn't even have any building, so it's just an elevated flat land for anyone to land on still. Might make a decent place for us to host the Wasteland's burgeoning aircraft trade. Uh, yeah, there's all of that. There, oh, there, oh, I should have done this one before. The right to bear arms. It's pub it is a public's second amendment right to have guns. It may be a stupid idea to arm the public when not all of America, but by God, it's an American idea. Duty of care. Our dedicated staff are asking what they can do for the country, rather than what the country can do for them. The only paycheck they need is George Washington's uh, smiling face as they lead America in a new age of health. Or at least that's what they realize after experiencing the American Code. Cost of brief intervention services, will decrease by 60. Patriotic immersion therapy. This was a project the best calmed minds LLC were working on before the bombs fell. A means by which exposure to high amounts of patriotic media could cause a shift in an attitude in person. This could be a cheap alternative to employing the code. Ma swears that she can notice suspicious subliminal activity in some of the media prepared for the project, but her American Values Protocol reminds her that her patriotic Americans wouldn't design something harmful. we we'll a permanent therapeutic measure to immerse the population of patriotism, increasing our recruitable population, and political power gain. And what do I want to do? The nuclear family. Once upon a time, Americans lived in a happy and familial ideal, or idol. 
producing two and a half children to better serve the community. And this wretched waste in the press actors has been greatly eroded. Mine knows that kinship will improve the people's mental health, so she'll arrange couplings for their own good. Ah, good. Scraping the basin. The Green River Basin was once home to large oil shale, uh, large oil shale, and natural gas reserves. These reserves were frequently depleted by the demands of the Sino-American War, but there may be something left we can squeeze together from what's left. Sweet water solar. Uh, 80 millimeter megawatt solar array was built some years ago near Green River. If we restore the array, we can benefit from the warm glow of the sun. Settling visitors. A lot of people came to the Calm Asylum due to one being one of the few functional pre-war hospitals in this corner of the wasteland, let alone one of the pre intact pre-war equipment. More than a few who come uh, here uh, for treatment make the decision to settle in the region. Make nature adapt to us, clear them out. Adapt our way of life to live with nature. And growing Green River. So popular, the American or the Calm Asylum proving that the Green River has grown beyond what it was before the war. It's become a true capital city for our growing nation. Uh, you know what? We'll do one more focus here. Nuclear family, happily ever after. Because that's what we're all shooting for. Well, maybe not all of us, but most of us hopefully are. And by God, you better be an American to enjoy this. Or you're wrong. And then we can either do Articles of Federation, just call the United States for a reason. And my hope is that establishing regional state governments will help the people connect with the past halcyon past. Of course, we can't have everyone severed in the government. They need to prove their, their love of America, sing the national anthem off the top of their heads, and pass a test identifying America's greatest enemies. Right. Or a state of emergency. Although Ma is committed to bringing back America, the country is still a ruin populated by malcontents. Ma cannot entertain any return to the old method of government until she is satisfied that this time the crisis has ended and remain the protector and rehabilitator of America for the foreseeable future. Happily ever after. Bertrand sat at the table with his wife Bertha. Of course, they'd only have been married a week. Thanks to the calm asylum, the genius idea to have unmarried people pair up. He guessed there's simply voice to pop people together based on a list of names, and as anyone could see, a big old Bertha was not the right woman for him. Anyone with half a brain, that was, at least. Do you, do you think they'll let us end the charade when it becomes clear we probably not brought the set between bites? They're acting like the madman they're supposed to be taking care of. Logic is off the table, of course. And when we can't produce a baby? You know, they'll put us in a cell until we do. Bartha said so casually, or just kill us. Sure, they know it's super immune and the ghoul can't. Do you think, want to explain that to them? Bertrand shook his head. Didn't think so. No, shut up and eat your beans. I love beans. But, hey, if you enjoyed the video, please consider leaving a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below, and I will see you tomorrow as we will go back to war with the Great Cons, the Roommaters, expand out, and make sure America's nice and healthy again. Thanks for watching, and have a great rest of your day.